So today I'm filming a video that I didn't find much of online, and that is how to properly hide a bobby pin. So you know how usually we go like this, and we open the bobby pin? That's still a habit of mine. Keep it closed and just push it right, oh, and just push it right in. So I'd probably need one more. But, as you can see, you can't see it at all. Another um, really good thing to keep in mind is that when you do this, you may see the bobby pin if, when you're putting the bobby pin in, make it so that, so that when you push it in, it goes with your strands of hair. So if my hair is all going this way, I push it in like this. I don't turn and push it in like that, right? Because then you're going to see that little bottom part. So. I keep it closed. I find this little piece here is where I want it. I kind of attach it to a little hair. I keep it horizontal with my hair and then I push it in. So right now I have two pieces in. I feel fine, but um, I might put another one in if I was going to go out. But that's how I do it. So a lot of people do this, which is better than some ways. But they take the twist in the bang, they open the bobby pin, and they go here and then you push it around and you push it. This is a super secure way, but you always get that bump. You're gonna always have a little bit more um, weight there without having to see the bobby pin at the very back, right here, so the little end. If you do the version that I do, take the bobby pin, the same way that the hair is going, push it in, take the bo next bobby pin, grab a little bit of hair without opening it, and push it in. Let me see if it worked. It's pretty hard to do without looking. So we can see that with this, it's not showing like um, the other version. Don't open your bobby pin and keep the bobby pin aligned with the grain of the hair or the strands of the hair. You don't want to go opposite because then it's going to show. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.